everything from final mortings has been this sort of in the round intimate type environment and I think certainly with these numbers you feel a real engagement with the actors and, and there's a there's a personal connection which you just don't get in in a big theatre. Still tastes good. Karim, Holmes, Jamal, Aleppo. It is not bombs that are strong, not men with sticks and guns. It is this, an act of kindness from a stranger to another. That is the thing. It becomes a, a personal storytelling, and, and I think that's what Farn and Mortings do at their best, is telling stories. I love the food. Um, the smell is amazing. Um, it was something I, I would never thought of putting in a play, so that was really brilliant. Really enjoyed it. In Syria, we are the bread. The bread is us. I think it's really great because you get to reach other people that you wouldn't normally reach, that people who maybe wouldn't go and see a show because they wouldn't travel. But if it's on your doorstep, then you're more likely to do it. It is the man with the yeast and the oil and the flour is in charge. Not for long, maybe. But for now, yes, for now. It was dramatic, it was really humorous but it was also very real. It had, a, it had a true story to tell outside of Syria. And I watched other people around me and I think that it brought that reality to their doorstep. And that's the end of our story. The Syrian baker.